Hello friends, quick little video today, just doing an update on this pair of small jumpers by White. Just a few months ago, about six months ago, I uploaded a video going over how I came about to owning these boots. I got them in a, a giveaway at the Stitch Down, Stitch Down um, Discord. Thank you very much, by the way, for doing that giveaway i really appreciate it appreciate the boots and uh if you've seen the video you may remember the conditions the boot wear at the time uh, and you uh, may recall that they were in a really bad need of a, a resole they also uh, had um, a need of the leather condition and leather work it was really the leather was um, kind of dry out and they needed some conditioning and cleaning. So I did all that myself. I did the cleaning, I conditioning. I put several layers of uh, uh, leather conditioning actually. And I wore the boots a few times actually. The rubber sole has hardened and it was actually crumbling. I think I remember picking up some pieces of rubber, uh, hard rubber in uh, some places that I walked. So I put them in a box and send it to the White uh, Repair Shop uh, out of uh, in uh, Washington, Washington State. And uh, it took three weeks for them to send back the the boots with the resole. Um, at first, I was considered to change some of the things in the boots because honestly, I I don't need this much aggressive. Uh, thread in in the in the soles for the kind of activities I do on my boots for my um, everyday uh, work I don't really need this much and uh, for a minute I consider actually to go with uh, uh, the B Bart um, uh, Vibram sole which I'm kind of fan of that and uh, have some uh, moderated at the heel too I didn't think I need this much heel in the boot but then I thought, no, I'll just keep the boots the way that they were originally made. And uh, that's how I ended up uh, with this sole here and uh, with this heel. So I'm going to give it a try this way and uh, see how they work out for me. Um, I heard a lot of people, they are a um, really big fan of this style of boots. So I thought if it's good for them, it should be good for me. So I hope to get the boot uh, to shape. And the weight of my feet and uh and uh, they will become comfortable right now uh this is my very first pair of pacific northwest boots and this arch support here it kind of make my feet feel weird in a weird position i experienced some pain actually in the first uh, few days i wore the boots but uh thankfully that has kind of given uh gone away and uh the pain is not longer there but i still <laughs> struggle every morning putting the boots on with this much uh, lacing to do um i've been uh, making the, i made a decision to make this my primary boots uh, for the next few months and uh, see if uh, with time i can get uh, uh i can get used to uh, putting on the boots uh, every morning and lacing this much um it was this uh, time when uh, we went to a place with the family where uh, everybody had to take their shoes off and I was wearing these boots. I took them off and I went in to do the activity there. But when we were done, I decided just to walk shoeless back to the car because I didn't want to spend 10 minutes, 20 minutes putting the boots on, which is about average time it takes me right now. Uh, I never had a uh, full gas uh, boots before in the tongue here and uh it's kind of it kind of take me a few minutes to the, do the pull on and put the boots on but hopefully with time i get used to that and uh it will be just a, a simple thing to do but uh when uh when they send them back to me uh, after the three weeks of work they did on it um, they package in this uh, box if you're wondering um, I send them, I boxed the boots in a different box. They send me 
back in this uh, white box with all their logos and all their all their branding they also included uh, new laces for the boots and new kilties uh, the kilties that were here they were kind of like curl up like that kind of funny looking and uh, they say new ones just for the same cost of the resole and a bunch of uh, stickers inside the box too so uh, I have to find a place to put them all on and um, I'm very happy with the, the way that turned out like I said this is uh, way way more than what I need but uh, hopefully hopefully uh, with uh, all the activities I do with work with been doing the field work with this boots on since they have uh, uh they are they are no steel toe which we're required to wear steel toe uh, work but uh, they have the composite too which is also um acceptable uh at our office the work that i do so this this boots uh, meet the aspect on there so i'm gonna be wearing them and um hopefully next time i send them for work at the white uh a repair it will be for a, a rebuild see if, uh, how it turns out and uh, maybe try something different I've seen some uh, rebuilds that, that some guides do where they go with the brown brown uh, leather in black top here or maybe even with uh, roughed out which is really nice finishing too and uh, have a combination like that and I think for a, re uh, a rebuild I can even go with a different last uh, this one right here um, I don't know if I can uh, go with a little of a wider last because this one right here although it fit fine but I kind of feel like a like a a lot of tie but not not too bad to uh, make it painful so uh, maybe I'll just uh, keep them the way they are and just do a, a rebuild uh, just the way they were originally made but hopefully for that i'll have a year or two before i can send them again for the, for that to be done but for now this is all i have thank you very much for tuning in i really appreciate i'll try to put more videos up uh, this year i'm not going to be participating in the uh, patina thunderdome so I don't think I'll be making uh, videos of uh, updates on the patina process for my boots. Although I want to wear this one as if I was participating in the Thunderdome with these boots to see if I can, uh, I can uh, wear them out a little bit more and see if they can get uh, the break in nicely. They were already uh, broken in, but uh, for a different user before, but for me, they still have some uh, adjusting to have this leather is really tough as a, a working leather uh, I would like to try something like this with the, a more the heritage leather and maybe that that way will be easier to break in but for now I'm just going to word this up and get them uh, as much as I can so I'll let you know how that works out thank you very much for tuning in hopefully I can see you on a upcoming video and uh, until I'll talk to you again please stay well remember to wear your boots and um, have a wonderful day bye